Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install CodeLite IDE on your Windows 11 operating system. So we are going to download CodeLite IDE for developing C and C++ programs. So let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for CodeLite and the first result which will appear here will be from CodeLite.org. So I'm going to click on this link and you can see using CodeLite, you can develop C++, PHP and node.js uh, programs right you can see download uh, tab on the top also and you can see the download button here also so i'm going to click on the download button and then you can choose if you want to pay uh, some donation to this uh, code light ide i don't want to do this so i'm going to just say not now continue to the download page and then you will reach to this uh, web page where you can find the installer for your Windows 11 operating system also. So I'm going to click on this uh, link which says Windows installer 64 bit. And once I click on this link, it's going to download this CodeLite exe file. So just wait for the download to complete. So once this CodeLite exe file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this exe file and I'm going to minimize the browser. So if you see this uh, message which says Windows protected your PC, Microsoft Defender Smart Screen prevented an unrecognized app from uh, starting. So I'm going to click on run anyway. And now first of all, it's going to show you this warning. So I'm going to click on yes. And then it's going to show me the license agreement window. So if you uh, agree with the license terms and conditions, click on the first uh, uh, option here, which says I accept the agreement and then click on next. This will be the default location where your code light IDE will be installed. So if you don't have the good reason to change it, just leave it as default and then click on next. And then just leave the next window also default, click on next. And if you want to create a shortcut icon on your desktop, check this checkbox. And also if you want to create a quick launch shortcut, you can click on this checkbox. So I'm going to just check on the first checkbox and then click on next and then click on install, which is going to start the installation of this CodeLite IDE. So it's going to be installed really fast. You can see the CodeLite IDE has been installed on my Windows 11 operating system. So once the CodeLite IDE is installed, just leave this checkbox as checked and click on finish, which is going to launch CodeLite IDE. And you can see this icon also has been created on my desktop. And now you can see CodeLite IDE has been started. So it says welcome to uh, the setup wizard. You can click on next and then on the next window you can choose C and C++ development. And then I'm going to click on next. And then this is the important part. So on your Windows operating system, you need to have a MinGW compiler in order to run and compile your C and C++ programs. So if you have already downloaded and installed MinGW compiler, you can click on scan. Otherwise, you can click on install button, which is going to download the MinGW compiler. So in my case, I have already downloaded the MinGW separately. And if you don't know how to download the MinGW, I will provide the link in the description of this video, which shows you how you can install MinGW on your Windows 11 operating system. If you want to install MinGW with your code Lite IDE, click on the install button, right? This is important. Otherwise your code Lite IDE will not work. So let me click on scan because I already have MinGW and CodeLite has recognized the path of my MinGW. So I'm going to just uh, select that and then click on next. And then this will be the default theme of your uh, CodeLite editor. You can also change it to dark or gray, or you can change it to light, okay? So I'm going to leave it as default and then click on next. And on the next window, you can see a white space and indentation. I'm going to leave everything as default and then click on finish, which is going to uh, restart your code light editor once again. So I'm going to maximize this window. And now let's create a new uh, C++ project. So I'm going to click on uh, file here, click on new, and then I can either create a new empty file or new workspace. So let me create a new workspace here. And then I'm going to click on OK and this will be the location where my project will be saved so i will leave it as default and then click on ok 
and you can see it has created the workspace for me and then under the uh, workspace you just need to click on workspace and then you can create a new project so here you can uh, give the name to your project i'm going to name uh, my project as hello and then uh, i can provide the category so i want to create a console uh, uh, program for c++ and then the type so from here i can use simple executable g++ and then you can also choose the debugger so i'm going to choose the gnu gdb debugger and then click on ok which is going to create my uh, project and you can see the main.cpp file is also created so you can see that in this uh, cpp file there is this uh, program which is already created for me which is a c program it's not a c++ program so let me replace this uh, C program by C++ program. So I'm going to paste uh, a C++ program here, which is a very simple Hello World C++ program. You can find uh, this anywhere on internet. And now in order to build this C++ program, I can click on the build option at the top and then click on build project. So when I click on build project, it's going to build my C++ program. You can see build completed successfully zero error zero warnings right so there is no error and there is no warnings here and now i can run this program by just uh, clicking on build on once again and then click on the run button and then you will see this kind of warning which will ask you would you like to build the active project before executing it and you have two buttons here you can build and execute your program uh, together and you can execute your program if you have already built your program okay so it's a uh, good practice to click on this option because it always build and then execute your program and you can see the program is successfully built and then you can see the output which is hello world here which we wanted to print here okay so now everything is working on your code light IDE. So in this way you can download and install Codelite IDE on your Windows 11 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.